and welcome to Tone It Up Tuesday. Um, I'm your host, Brittany, and today we are going to be doing some workouts. I'm actually here in the little workout room um, in my apartments. So without further ado, I'm going to go ahead and do some stretches and then we're going to get right on into it. So we're going to stretch our leg out to the left for a count of 10. So one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, and ten. Then we're gonna slowly ease to the middle. And we're gonna stretch out in the middle. I haven't worked out in a while, you guys, so um, we're gonna have to, I'm not gonna be able to stretch too far out, um, but you know, I'm sure I'm not the only one in this boat, so. Um, just do the best you can. Stretch out as far as you can for a count of 10. 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, and 10. Then we're going to go ahead and stretch out the right side. So 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, Six, seven, eight, nine, and ten. The feet out straight like this, and we are going to go ahead and stretch out our toes. I'm going to turn to this side so you can kind of see my feet better. That's probably a better view. All right, so one, two, three, four, five, six. Seven, eight, nine, ten. All right, and now we're gonna move back to the middle here, and we are going to do butterflies. So we can flap it, and then we're gonna press down on our thighs here with our elbows for a count of ten. So one, two, three. Four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, and ten. You can flap it out, and then if you want, you can press down with your hands. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, and ten. All right, so now we're gonna move on into the next stretch. Now we're gonna start working on our arm. All right, so if sitting on your feet in this position here is more comfortable for you, you can go ahead and sit in that position. Um, we are actually going to make sure our shoulders are rolled back like this, and then we are gonna do some arm circles towards the back. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, and ten. All right, now we're going to go the opposite direction. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten. All right, and now we're gonna take our arm, we're gonna stretch it all the way across. Right now I have my right arm um, pointing this way, and I have my left arm holding this arm like this. And the, op the objective is to try to pull this hand out as far as you can go with this hand. So we're gonna do this for a count of 10. So one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, and ten. Okay, just kind of shake it out a little bit. And we're going to go ahead and go into the next arm. So one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, 
nine, 10. All right, and we're gonna go ahead and move into the next stretch. For our next stretch, we're gonna interlace our fingers like this, and we're gonna stretch all the way up to the sky, like this. If you want that extra stretch, you can go ahead and look up to the ceiling. And then do a count of 10. So one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten. All right, and then just bring it down. I don't know if you guys heard it, but my shoulder just popped. <laughs> um, and then we're gonna go ahead and stretch it out this way for another count of 10. So one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, and 10. All right, and just shake it out of your shoulders a little bit. Um, we're gonna go ahead and do some crutches to kind of warm up that core and then I will show you some of the equipment that we have here in my little apartment gym. If you guys don't have equipment in your apartment, don't worry about it. Um, I can show you some alternatives of what you can do instead of using the equipment. So we are gonna warm up our core with some crutches. And I'm gonna do this with my feet up like this. And I'm gonna lay down on my back. I like to cross my fingers and hold it behind my neck and then lay down and then just kind of go up like this and down. So I love doing crunches, crunches. <laughs> I am super obsessed with them. So um, I'm gonna probably do about 20 of these. If you wanna do about 10 because they're not your thing, then that's fine. All right, so one, Two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten, eleven. 12, 13, 14, 15, 16, 17, 18, 19, and 20. Next exercise, we're still going to be in the same position, the only difference is is we're gonna pick our legs up like this. If it's easier, you can go ahead and cross your legs. Um, and then don't let your feet touch the ground. You wanna have them at least a couple inches off the ground. Um, and we're gonna meet them like this, okay? And we're gonna do that for a count of 20. If you wanna do 10, that's fine with you. Do whatever feels comfortable with your body, okay? All right, so let's begin. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, 10, 11, 12, 13, 14, 15, 16, 17, 18, 19, and 20. 
guys, so we are going to be doing some leg lifts. And I'm just gonna go ahead and be honest with you right now. Leg lifts are not my favorite exercise to do. I am terrible at leg lifts. So I'm just gonna warn you ahead of time. If I look goofy doing these, you know, you'll just have to bear with me. Um, but it's one of those things that are really important to do because it strengthens up your lower abdomen, which is very important if you really wanna get a strong core. And building that strong core is very important because a strong core supports the whole, every other part of your body. And if you have a weak core, then everything else is gonna fall apart. Trust me, I know from experience. So definitely, definitely work on that core, especially if you don't have a whole lot of your other muscles built up, you need to work on that core first and then work on the other parts later. So I will go ahead and get right back to you with the leg lifts. So we're gonna lay like this, all right? And we're gonna hold our legs up like this. If it helps you to cross, you can. If not, you can do it the traditional way. And you wanna hold it for a count of 10, and then you can relax it, okay? And we're gonna do about 10 of these, you guys. Brace yourselves, it's gonna be a lot of work. <laughs> All right, so. One, <laughs> that was already a lot of work. <laughs> Two, three. Four, five, six, seven. Eight, nine, ten. Whew. All right, guys, we did it. We made it to ten leg lifts. I don't know about you guys, but I am so proud of myself because those were a torture for me <laughs> hey guys so as you can see here I finally got my sip of water and I don't know about where you guys live but here in Minnesota it is freezing I literally just got done stretching out my muscles and warming those up a little bit and already I'm freezing again it's crazy in the winter time over here but you know what, we're going to get back to work and we're going to warm up those muscles again. Um, since we've already went ahead and stretched our muscles out, we stretched out our core, we stretched out our arms and our legs. So now we are going to go ahead and start working on the machines.
so if there's one thing I've learned, I definitely got to work out my work on my cardio before I start doing some weightlifting because apparently my muscles have turned to mush, which is what happens when you build a whole bunch of muscle and then you start, you know, stop using them for a long time. Yeah, basically all that muscle that you worked so hard on and built and all of that is just going to turn into mush. So if you are going to work out, you need to stay consistent with it and you need to continue building that muscle instead of letting it go to waste because your muscles actually will become a lot weaker in the long run than they were before um, you even started working out. So you're actually hurting your muscles if you build them and then just not use them. So yes, if you're going to get in shape, you need to stay in shape and you need to maintain that lifelong. Trust me, I am learning it the hard way. <laughs> so don't be like me. Don't learn it the hard way. Um, I hope you guys like this video. Hopefully we'll be able to go more in depth next Tuesday. Um, I'll probably be doing some dancing, so you guys can laugh at me all you want on next Tuesday's video. I will be looking forward to seeing you guys tomorrow on Wellness Wednesday, and I hope you guys enjoyed this video. I will see you all later, my beautiful people, and you guys have a great and awesome Tuesday.